The Live View module works similarly to the 3D Compass, except it lets you use your device's camera to create an augmented reality view of the world around you, with the compass information overlaid upon it. Along the horizon, you'll see the visualization of the compass with the green target pointing towards your direction and bearing. So now it's like you're standing inside the compass. You'll see the yellow path of the sun today, and you'll be able to see where it's going to be at each hour of the day and where it will cross the horizon. This view is really useful for seeing where the sun is going to be relative to the terrain features of your location, such as trees, mountains, or buildings. And you can see, for instance, what time the sun is going to go behind the trees today and create shade where you're standing. This kind of information is really useful to know for landscape and portrait photography shoots. If you find that the visualization of the sun right now doesn't quite match the position of the actual sun in the sky, you can calibrate the view by clicking here on the finger, and then moving the view with your finger until the virtual sun and the real sun line up, and then click OK. And just like with the 3D compass, you can bring up information about the moon and the Milky Way using the info panels, and you can travel through time. Since both the 3D Compass and Live View rely on your device's internal compass, make sure you properly calibrate the compass when you launch the app. I teach you how to do this in a separate video. Touching the camera icon in the toolbar takes a screenshot of your Live View so you can recall it later. It's stored in a folder called Sun Surveyor within your Images folder as indicated here. Touching this icon brings up the Celestial View which shows you the Celestial North and South Poles. The North Star will be found here, and if you do a long exposure photo of the night sky, the stars will leave trails that follow along these red lines.